and protrusive interferences okay so if you see here he placed the implant in some other clinic they placed the crown immediately three days i told the implant is slightly loosened so when i saw the cingulum is too much the patient cannot able to protrude the jaw so this is protrusive insert can you see the cingulum here so we reduce the cingulum within one week the mobility got settled and it has got reintegrated yes yes so this protrude protrusive thing you should check okay on the palatal aspect when the patient is protruding the jaw there should not be any uh, interferences and lateral interferences this is more common in the premolars so this is the first premolar we placed implant we placed crown also but when the patient moves the jaw to right side this cusp is taking the load this is the acrylic crown this is the implant this cusp no it is taking the load and within months it got failure so this is a lateral interference the first case which we saw is protrusive interference this is the lateral either on the working side or on the balancing side so these thing, things you should check if it is a natural crown the patient may tell pain or there may be some chipping but here our implant will get loosened okay and giving the buccolingual width of the crown very wide you are increasing the occlusal table you are increasing the forces upon the crown this is also one of the reason so make sure the buccolingual width is 80% of the original crown size so that you are minimizing the forces and deep cuspal inclination deep cuspal inclination so don't give flat cusp don't give very deep cusp moderate medium cuspal inclination okay so these things we should communicate with the lab and improper fitting with the abutment head if there is very loose fitting the cement thickness will be more there is a more chance that the cement will dissolve and it will decement and it may lead to implant failure okay and patient biting hard this is also practically one of the reason after fixing the crown the patient from the day one they will may start heating very hard items so you have to give patient instruction don't bite anything very hard okay the patient uh, may try some nuts okay it may give some problem so you tell the patient to start with a soft diet after complete healing say one or two months or three months you can ask the patient to bite no hard foods okay and para function any bruxism if you suspect that then you should give night got soft spent okay so this are this are the most common uh, reasons other failures other reasons not placing adequate number of implants trying to manage with lesser number of implants the patient may tell sir can is it possible to manage with two implants three implants i know these things will lead to and using lesser diameter and lesser length when actually you can use you no know, more diameter and more length okay and bone quality and quantity cancerous bone more failure rate and practical reasons are restoring one side with implants the patient will tell this side i will restore later but after you did implant and fix the teeth they will start using this side and they will start using no very heavily also only unilateral chewing so you are creating more load no on the implant side so communicate with the patient advise the patient to go for implants on the another side also so that the chewing will be distributed to both right and left side balanced okay so practical reasons because most of the time the patient will tell i will go for implant on one side uh, checking the comfort level i will go for other side but they may not return back okay they will overuse the right side then you will get problem on the implant side excess cement going into the extraction socket this is one of the reason this happens say mainly when you do immediate extraction and implant so how to avoid this don't use the looting cement use the cement which is used for filling mix in it thick consistency use very lesser amount lesser lesser quantity don't use over use okay or you can use a, a rubber dam okay punch place it fix it then cut the rubber dam and remove it okay or use a simple uh, rubber gloves also okay place it on the implant punch and place it on the implant fix the crown okay and cut the uh, gloves with scissor and you can remove it otherwise mix thick take only small quantities okay and another reasons we can use type 2 gsc pardon restorative gsc you can use 
you can use type 2 type 2 because you can mix it in yes ama ama if you are using for delayed implant placement you can use any cement any cement but if you are um, fixing for extraction socket it will be very wide you cannot control the cement flow especially for the lower by gravity it will flow and you will never know that this is a reason for implant failure after few months few months so use type 2 thick consistency minimal amount there's one more technique fill the crown with cement place it and immediately take it out and clean the excess then you have fixed it this is also accepted one 